Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning at Leventhar. This video is going to be about the design of a half adder using a two variable K map. Why do we really need to go for a K map? So the reason being that when the number of literals or number of inputs to a given design increases, the complexity of the Boolean expression also increases. Therefore, it becomes a little difficult for us to apply the Boolean laws correctly with minimum error and obtain a minimized expression. When I say minimized expression, it's going to contain minimum number of optimized number of literals so that we are able to implement it on the hardware a little more easily. Having said that, let's just begin with the design of a half adder. And I'll go on to telling you how we can use the two variable K map. So an adder is going to basically add two numbers. Here we are going to add two bits. So let me say that the first number is going to be A and the second number is going to be B. So when we add two numbers, it will generate a sum and a carry. So right now, I'm going to write out the truth table for this entire design. So now we have two inputs. A can either be 0 or 1. B can either be 0 or 1. So we'll have 2 to the power 2, which is four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now we are going to find out the sum. So here, when we add, we are going to perform binary addition. So we need to remember that 0, 0 is nothing but a decimal 0, 0, 1 is nothing but a decimal 1, 1, 0 represents 2 and 1, 1 represents 3. So now when I add the two numbers A and B, I have to add 0 plus 0, the sum is going to be 0. There won't be any carry, so I'll put it as 0. When I add 0 and 1, the sum will be 1. And there's not going to be any carry. Again, when I add 1 and 0, the sum is going to be 1 without a carry. But when I do 1 plus 1, that will result in 2. So 2 basically is represented as 1, 0. So now we can only write 1 bit because there's only enough space for 1 bit to be held in the sum. So we are going to put down the 0 of the 2 here and the 1 of the 2 is going to go into the carry. So this is how we write out the truth table for a half adder. Now there are going to be two outputs. If I look at uh, my half adder as a black box, then I am going to have two inputs here, the two numbers that is A and B. And when I add it, I'll get two outputs. One is going to be the sum. The other one is going to be the carry. So which means I'm going to have some circuits, combinational circuit designed here, such that I'm going to have two outputs coming out. So we need to compute the Boolean expression for the sum as well as the carry. So we can do it generally by looking at the uh, truth table and writing out the min terms and applying the Boolean expression. But today I'm going to use the K map. So I call it the two variable K map because we are going to have only two inputs A and B. So I'm going to draw a grid. This grid is going to carry the min terms. I've discussed about the min terms in one of my previous videos. So the inputs are A and B. A can either be 0 or 1. B can again be 0 or 1. So put together, the first box is going to represent 0, 0, which is nothing but min term 0. The second box is going to represent 0, 1, which is nothing but min term 1. 1, 0 represents min term 2 and 1, 1 represents min term 3. So each of these smaller squares represent the min terms. Now I'm going to fill these squares with the binary numbers 
that the sum is going to assume as the inputs change. So let me write out the grid again. Here I have A and B and uh, for the 0, 0, that is min term 0, min term 1, min term 2 and min term 3. For min term 0 in that box, I should fill in a 0. For min term 1, I should fill in a 1. For min term 2, I'm going to fill in a 1 again. And for min term 3, it's going to be a 0. So let's complete this K map. Now, this is called a two variable K map. Now, how can I find the expression from this? So I have to find the expression of S in terms of A and B from this grid. How can I do it? Now, in this case, we see that there can't be any grouping that can be done. Otherwise, we can use the absorption law to group adjacent cells and get a very simplified expression. With the upcoming examples, I'll explain how that can be done. But right now, for this case, the sum is going to be nothing but this truth value, which represents nothing but A dash B. Because for this one, A is value 0 and B is value is 1. So I'm going to get A bar B. And for this particular one, A is value is 1 and B is value is 0. So I can get A, B bar. Now, each of these um, squares can be put together using the OR symbol. So ultimately, I get my sum value as A bar B plus A, B bar. Now, A bar B is nothing but min term 1, M1. And A, B bar is nothing but M2. So when we write S, we can write it in this manner. Sigma of 1, comma 2. Or we can simplify this expression because this is the expression for the XOR gate. So we can just say that it is equal to A XOR of B. So this is the expression for the sum. In the same way, we can compute the expression for the carry. So let's draw the grid again. From the truth table itself, we can find out the expression because the value of C is true only for min term 3, which means uh, M3, which is nothing but A dot B. We know that from the previous video, if you uh, observe. So here again, for the K map, we can do the same thing. This again involves no simplification as such. So here we have where A and B are 1s, we are going to fill it with a 1. The rest of the boxes are going to be 0. So we can say that the carry is nothing but A dot B. So now we can actually fill in the black box that we drew over here. So we have the two inputs A, B. And we see that the sum is going to be A X or B. So let's draw the X or gate over here. So this is the sum. And if this is A and B. And the carry is going to be A dot B. That is an AND gate. So this is A. This is B. This is going to be the AND gate. So this is going to be my carry. So now we have designed this black box, which is going to act like a half adder. So where for different combinations of A and B, we are going to get the sum and the carry accordingly. So that's all with this video today. In the next video, I'll tell you how we can use a three variable K map to design the full adder. And I'll also tell you how to perform the grouping so as to reduce the uh, expression or the Boolean expression and obtain a simplified one. Please do subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.